Hi everyone, here we will see the example of matrix chain multiplication by applying optimal parenthesis to reduce the number of scalar multiplications for given problem which is having uh, the dimension 5 by 4 first matrix and uh, 4 by 6 is the second matrix then uh, 6 by 2 is the third matrix this one then 2 by 7 is the fourth matrix so we are going to uh, multiply all four matrices uh, uh, and uh, we have to apply different a num a different kind of parenthesis uh, like a1 a2 a3 a4 so you can apply different kind of uh, parenthesis for multiplication multiplication so when you are applying different kind of uh, parenthesis it should be minimum number of um, uh, scalar multiplications how do we do this so the as per the algorithm initially we are taking m of i comma i if the same location of uh, row and column then we are making that position as a zero so one comma 1 is 0, 2, 2 is 0, 3, 3 is 0, 4, 4 is 0. So here i equal to j that means i, i. So both are same values so row and column. So here uh, i equal to j. So I am taking as a j. So I initialized here the dimension of all the matrices are given. A1 is having 5 by 4, A2 is having 4 by 6, then A3 is having 6 by 2 and A4 is having 4 by 7. Now the uh, second step in the algorithm is here L equal to 2 to N. So N is here of uh, 4, 4 number of matrices, 4 columns and 4 rows. Then I equal to 1, N minus L. So N minus L is here 4 minus 2 plus 1. So the value is here uh, 3. Okay, I equal to 1, 2, 3. We have to move on. Then then j value is here we are calculating j is here i value is 1 in the first step first iteration uh, 1 plus l is here uh, 1 for the uh, for the first iteration 2 okay l, l is here uh, 2 uh, then minus 1 so j value is here uh, 2 so i value uh, is 1 now j value is 2 so m of i comma j as of now m of uh, 1 comma 2 is unknown okay unknown value then uh, here 1 comma 2 okay so the first row the row is given here 2 is given here so as of now we don't have we don't know the value that's what it is shown uh, as infinity then k equal to i so i is now uh, i value is now 1 so 1 from k value is at start with 1 until what is the j minus 1 j is here 2 so 2 minus 1 uh, uh, 1 okay so 1 to 1 then we have to calculate m of i comma k so m of i is 1 k is 1 as of now then plus m of k plus 1 so k plus 1 is 2 then 2 comma j is here what is the j value here 2 so m of 2 comma 2 plus then here i i minus 1 i is here uh, 1 okay i is here 1 so p 0 then p k so what is the k value here uh, for uh, in the first iteration 1 so p 1 so p j what is the j value is here uh, j value is now 2 okay so p so now this formula is going to be applied to calculate the value you look at that uh, 1 comma k k plus 1 comma 2 then p0 pk p2 so same value okay p0 k value is here 1 so p2 so here k value is here applied uh, 1 so p0 p2 so here i have given 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 so based upon that uh, algorithm we are going to substitute the values uh, here we are having p0 p1 p2 we are substituting the values we are getting the 120 so this position as of now unknown so this value we are checking right the infinity unknown value is uh, 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 greater than the calculated value is now m of 1 comma 2 is 120 so 120 is greater than infinity or not yes you look at that we are checking here the calculated value is less than uh, sorry uh, q is yeah calculated value is less than already here we are having the infinity so here 120 is less than infinity so if it is yes then we are going to update that m of i comma j 
right uh, yes here yeah, 120 so now this position is uh, is applied m of what is the i value 1 what is the j value here 2 so m of 1 comma 2 here we are going to up, uh, update as yes, here yeah, 120 so m of 1 comma 2 so this position updated as a 120 like this uh, now we are going to increment the k equal to uh, 2 okay so when you are up, uh, incrementing that k equal to 2 but this is incremented until j minus 1 j minus 1 is 1 so this for loop is now exit okay so once it is exit it is coming to here so i minus i equal to 1 here the it will go now i is incremented now okay so i is incremented to then j value here you look at that j is uh, 2 plus l value is 2 minus 1 so here uh, uh, i value is here 2 plus 2 plus uh, 1 is this. so here j value is 3 then we are calculating m of I, I, I is now uh, 2 so 2 comma j value is 3 so this is s of now infinity okay so then uh, uh, k value so this statement k is now uh, here i value so what is the i value here 2 okay i is now 2 so k value is 2 2 2 uh, what is the j minus 1 j is now 3 so 3 minus 1 2 so uh, it will go to 2 so it will uh, execute now m of uh, this uh, this formula now here uh, k equal to 2 means the formula will become in this position q of okay q equal to m of i comma k so i is 2 k value is now it is 2 so m of 2 comma 2 plus then uh, m of k plus 1 k plus 1 is 3 comma j value what is the j value is here 3 okay 3 comma 3 then minimum uh, we have to uh, update the p0 p1 p, uh, i mean pi minus 1 pi value is here 2 so p1 right uh, uh, p2 k value is 2 here then j value is here 3 so p3 so this is going to be applied in the next one you look at that p1 p2 p3 m of 2 comma 2 m of 3 comma 3 so the same thing we have calculated it 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 and uh, p1 p2 p3 so now as per that formula we are going to substitute the values 2 comma 2 so look at that 2 comma 2 here we are having a uh, 0 okay 3 comma 3 0 so now substituting the values then uh, p p1 p2 p3 so p1 p2 p3 we are substituting values you are getting 48 like that you are going to calculate uh, m of m, uh, m of 3 comma 4 how we got this so now i value is incremented here okay in this for loop so what is the uh, value here so n uh, until 3 we have to calculate so okay this one right so the second third iteration here i value is 3 then you will keep on uh, calculate the j uh, this one and k value so when you are calculating that you will get m of 3 comma 3 is here m of 3 comma k m of k plus 1 comma 4 this values based upon the value uh, k is here uh, 3 because i equal to k right so k uh, 3 comma 3 so this is k plus 1 then j is 4 so when you are substituting the values you are getting 84 so 84 is filled in the position of 3 comma 4 so it is filled here okay like that now i is incremented again okay so i is incremented again 4 okay so when you are incrementing the i again 4 but it is coming out of the loop because i value so this position this position is 3 okay so you cannot go 4 so this for loop will exit then l equal to incremented by 1 so now l equal to 3 then again it will continue the uh, process so when it is incremented l equal to 3 it will come to this position okay so now l is incremented by 3 then it will come to this uh, this position so now it is going to calculate m of 1 comma 3 now uh, minimum of 1 less than or equal to k less than 3 so here we are having different k values uh, because you look at that i equal to 1 j equal to 3 
okay so we are having uh, in between k value or uh, 2 right so we are having different uh, uh, values so we have to find out the minimum value say m of 1 comma k plus m of k plus 1 comma 3 right so when you are applying this m of k uh, here k value is uh, initially we are taking as a i value so here 1 then 2 comma 3 so this statement is based upon uh, uh, this this position k value is s of now 1 then it will increment up, up to j minus 1 j minus 1 is say here 2 okay then k value will be incremented second iteration 2 so that's why we are having uh, two k values in this position first k, uh, I, k value is 1 so we are calculating this position 2 comma 3 uh, then as per the formula here uh, i minus 1 I, I value this one is the i minus 1 this is i value k equal to i then uh, this is j value so j is here 3 then k is incremented by 1 okay k equal to i okay so i is in, uh, k value is incremented by 1 so when you are incremented by 1 it will get 2 so m of 1 comma 2 then k plus 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3 then j value is 3 then here k is uh, k equal to i so here k is incremented so p2 it will come p2 k value all right k is incremented by 1 then here this one is i minus 1 that is the p0 then this one is the j value so this one is 3 right so when you are substituting the values you are getting different uh, scalar multiplications among this two 88 is the minimum at k value is 1 okay that's what it is mentioned here p uh, minimum value 88 at k value is 1 that's what filled in the proportion of 1 comma 3 then you have to calculate the 2 comma 3 so 2 comma uh, 4 okay 2 comma 4 right so 2 comma 4 when you are substituting again here intermediate k value is 3 uh, 3 is there so k value will be 2 comma 3 so two iterations will be executed that means k equal to i then here i2 here we will use j minus 1 okay so here you look at that until j minus 1 when you are using the j minus 1 here j is 4 okay until 3 right so here i value is 2 so 2 2 3 first iteration 2 and second iteration 3 so first i k value 2 second k value is 3 so you have to substitute the values as per this formula so you will get 252 in the uh, 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 k value 2 so k value 3 you are getting 104 so minimum value is 104 at k value 3 so you are filling this value next uh, here we are going to find out the value for m of 1 comma 4 so i equal to 1 j equal to 4 k value here i2 j minus 1 then i value is 1 uh, here 2 j minus 1 is 3 so 3 iterations for the k so k value is 1 k value is 2 k value is 3 then k plus 1 k plus two, uh, again again here also k plus 1 for the k equal to 2 k equal to 3 k plus 1 is 4 when you are substituting the values you will get three different scalar multiplications among this 158 is the minimum at k value is 3 so that's what we have taken minimum scalar multiplications 158 so when to multiply this one we are getting 158 so here um, we have to construct optimal solution for from computed sequences that means we have got a sequence of decisions from that sequence of decisions we have to test select optimal solution first we have to go uh, go from the bottom up so first one is bottom up when you are going to bottom up 1 comma 4 m of 1 comma 4 you are taking which is the minimum value so here the minimum value is at k equal to 3 at k equal to 3 so we have to take m of 1 comma 3 this formula m of 1 comma 3 plus m of 4 comma 4 you look at that we are taking this formula so from this formula again m of 1 comma 3 what is the value so next next step okay we are going bottom up okay m of 1 comma 3 this one okay so m of 1 comma 3 here we got 88 so where you have got 88 this formula okay m of 1 comma 1 plus m of 2 comma 
3. So we are taking that one, m of 1 comma 1 plus m of 2 comma 3, then uh, remaining terms. So you have to substitute this one, right? So here you look at that m of uh, 1 comma 1 plus m of 2 comma 3, m of 1 comma 1. Here, m of 1 comma 1 means same matrix. Okay, i equal to 1, j equal to 1. So, same matrix. So, a1, then 2 comma 3, two matrices. Okay, second matrix and third matrix. Second matrix and third matrix you are parenthesizing. So, when you are applying parenthesization, second matrix and two mat uh, third matrix, you are getting the size like this. Okay, 4 into 6, 6 by 2, you are getting resulted matrix is 4 by 2. Okay, 4 by 2. Two, you are applying the parenthesization right then after that a11 you look at that go back here when you are going back you look at that 1 comma 3 so here 1 comma 3 you are going to apply right 1 comma 3 means already you got this one okay this is 2 comma 3 right so 1 comma 3 means you can write 1 comma 3 matrix is here a of 1 into a of 2 into 3 okay so this is what here so a of 1 comma 1 so we are applying the matrix uh, parenthesization to these two matrices resulted matrix of this one from the previous step so this one is the a1 so when you are applying this you will get 5 by 2 is the uh, resulted matrix of these two matrix multiplication so here you are getting 5 by 2 so this is already done until here now you are going to have only single matrix left so we are applying the uh, parenthesis to here so finally you are getting the resulted matrix size is 5 by 7 okay so here when you are applying this uh, parenthesis you are getting 48 is the multiplications here 40 is the scalar multiplications here 70 is the scalar multiplications when you are adding all these things you are getting 158 when you are applying the algorithm also you are getting 158 so we got uh, optimal uh, scalar multiplications by using this way of parenthesization right so here the running time is order of n cube because we are using three for loop for uh, rows and columns then k value intermediate k value is uh, the number of feasible solutions for each step we are finding the minimum value so three for loops we are using we are so it is uh, order of n cube at the worst case thanks for watching